Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Connect. I'm Adrian and I brought my friend Raul here from the SimpleLink Launchpad development team. And we're really excited to talk about some of the development tools that are available for developing on our industry first crystalless wireless microcontroller. Uh, this is a really cool, exciting technology and we wanted to walk through some of the hardware kits that are available and maybe even walk through some of the differences between the Launchpad kit for this particular device versus some of our previous more traditional wireless microcontrollers. Uh, so thanks for joining us today, Raul. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, we're re really excited. I mean, well, let's jump right in here. So sure. what we've got here is our Launchpad kit. Uh, yes. featuring which uh, device specifically? Yes, yeah, so this is this kit right here is featuring the CC2652RB device, okay. which is our uh, BAW device, a uh, true single chip solution with our BAW acoustic wave resonator integrated inside the packaging of our device. Okay, and, and what are some of the, the benefits of having that integrated into the microcontroller? Yeah, so as many, uh, you know, EVM designers and many and equipment um, uh, industry um, folks know that getting a hold of our crystal is, is usually one of the hardest things to do uh, due to the long lead time that they have. Also looking into the accuracy and the different specs we want those um, those crystals to meet. So having this integrated in the package already, it eliminates that headache. Okay, very cool. Yeah, yeah and I guess just for reference, so this particular launch pad here has that device uh, yep. with the integrated BAW. So it's much simpler than, let's say, our, our previous yes. launch pad kits. Yes. So I'll bring it, I guess, next yes. to it. Do you mind walking through, I guess, the, the Delta? Yeah, definitely. So these are the two boards are the exact same boards with the difference of our ball device being mounted here on the left side of the board the right side is our regular cc2652r non-ball device so what you could see here is if we look at here at this crystal here this is our 32 kilohertz crystal this other one right here is our 48 megahertz crystal so when you look at the other design these two crystals are all together removed from the cc2652rb kit very cool. And uh, we had Danielle on the show a couple of times and she walked through, I guess, some of the reasons why you might want to integrate that in. Um, but you being from our Launchpad team, I mean, you're working with Conchic manufacturers, yes. you know, yes. building these units yes. at mass volume. Yes. Uh, so you know very well, I guess, about the challenges of, of sourcing, yeah. you know, good crystals. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and again, a, a lot of the builds are usually held up because the crystals are not there in time. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, you don't want one component to de delay your whole build. So with this crystal solution, we definitely eliminate that, that, that risk from our, from our uh, schedule. That's awesome, very yep. cool, man. Well, I guess let's, let's jump into the demo. Sure. And I guess what you have here is the out-of-box capability yes. that the launch pad's pre-programmed with. Exactly. Uh, do you mind walking through that? And sure. I'll, I'll move this guy aside. Sure. So what we have here is our CC2652RB kit. Um, this one is being powered right now through the USB uh, cable, as you can see. So what we're going to show here is that this crystal list launch pad uh, with the bulk acoustic wave resonator is able to uh, generate your RF carrier waves to transmit data to the phone and back. Okay. So this has already been preset up. So all you will need is your development kit, uh, power source, and you will need as well your simple link starter application from TI. Gotcha. Uh, so with that, once you hook it up and you establish your BLE collection um, with the phone, you're able to start uh, showing this demo. So in this case, what I'm going to show first is our LEDs uh, being lit up. So this will show that from the phone, we're able to communicate to the board and light up respective LEDs. Okay. So as you can see here, we're able to turn on our red LED and at the same time, our green LED. So this is now showing data coming from the phone to the launch pad. Vice versa, I want to go ahead and show data coming from the launch pad to uh, your phone. And with that, what we're doing now is we're gonna go ahead and touch button one here on the launch pad. Um, this should then show toggling on the app, as yeah, you can see awesome. with the red wave. Uh, in a similar manner, if you touch the right button, you have the blue wave uh, showing. And you could also have them pressed at the same time and you see both of the data being reflected on the phone. That's, that's a great demo. So this is something a customer can get up and running very quickly out of the box with their launch pad with kit. With their launch pad kit, yes. This is Project Zero. This is the first project that they will um, launch uh, once they go ahead and open the, the, their development kits. Awesome. Well, really cool demo, Raul. Thanks for coming out here to, to walk us through that. Uh, can you explain where customers might be able to get started if they want to jump into the development? Sure. Uh, they could go ahead and visit our website uh, for this tool folder. It is ti.com forward slash tool forward slash LP-CC2652RB. 
perfect. And that's where they can order the kit, get the uh, user's guides, the data sheets, so on and so forth. That is correct. That is that your one-stop shop to get access to the user's guide, quick start guide, software development kits, anything you name it is on that page. Thanks, Raul, for walking us through that demo. Really cool stuff. We're super excited about these crystalless wireless microcontrollers and being able to walk you through the development experience here with Raul um, is certainly a treat. Uh, so be sure to check out this website, order yourself a launch pad and get up and running. Um, and be sure to tune in next week where we'll walk through more cool technology from the Simplink platform. And be sure to also tweet at us at Sensor to Cloud for any feedback, new topic ideas, or any other things you'd like to see on this episode of, uh, of the Connect series. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next week.